sometimes we must live through the darkness in order to see the light. We must visualize. Hey everyone, I know it's a bit late for a video this week because I usually do them Saturday or Sunday, but I wasn't even thinking about doing a video this week at all. Just had no idea. And then yesterday I finally thought of something else I could talk about that some people may also experience the same I do. Jump in my face as well and breaking out. Australia makes me break out like mad. So I learned in the past couple years that I am an emotional empath. I remember seeing one of those stupid quizzes on Facebook and I'm like, oh, what is this? And I took it and it's like, yes. And if you don't know what an emotional empath is, um, I've got a little thing or definition here. They're highly sensitive, finely tuned instruments when it comes to emotions. They feel everything sometimes to an extreme and are less apt to intellectualize feelings. Um, a lot of times says... If impasse are around peace and love, their bodies assimilate these and flourish. Negativity, though, often feels assaultive, exhausting. Um, particularly an easy mark for emotional vampires whose fear or rage can ravage impasse. Um, absorb the impact of stressful emotions. Can trigger panic attacks, depression, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I always wondered, like, why I always feel so much. And sometimes I'll just have a panic attack or I'll have an anxiety attack and I'll have absolutely no reason in my life to have that. And it'll just happen. And then I realized by reading about this emotional empathy is I am feeling the emotions of those around me. And what brought this up to talk about it today is last night um, there was a bit of a disagreement between my husband and my oldest and... I felt it. I felt the tension. I felt the anxiety. I felt the anger. I felt the hurt. And I know a lot of it was from me as well because I don't like um, disagreements. I don't like fights. I don't like anything like that. But I could feel it from both of them that their emotions. And it was really hard for me not to just want to run out the door because I didn't know how to deal with it. I, I've been having uh, quite a few anxiety attacks the past month or so. Um, I can't really explain why. Um, I know a lot of it is I'm absorbing the feelings of those around me and I know when I make friends with people who are severely depressed and don't deal with it, I find that really hard because I find it brings me down. So I tend to avoid those type of people. Like I know I shouldn't. I should really be empathetic to those people because of everything I've been through. But sometimes I just I can't deal with it because it's wrecking my own life. I need to take care of myself first. Um, so I don't know if anyone else deals with this or knows anything more about it, how to, to, to control it, to not let other people's feelings affect you or control you. Um, I really like some tips or ideas on how to do that because I find it really hard sometimes that I just have these anxiety attacks or these panic attacks for absolutely no reason when it's just me absorbing everything around me. Um, I've felt it at work when I know something is going on behind the scenes, but I'm not being told, but I can feel that something is going on. Um, sometimes I can even feel that there are things going on back home in Canada when I'm all the way over here. I just, I'm very in tune to feelings of other people. Um, I have been wrong, I can be wrong, but most of the time, there is a reason why I'm feeling this thing. I'm sorry, this is kind of a blah video. I want to thank everyone um, who've been watching these videos since I've started them. Um, for those of you who've come up to speak to me to tell me that I'm actually helping you because I don't feel capable of helping others, if that makes sense. I know I'm on this earth for a reason. I know that my story is meant to help others and I'm glad that by me sharing this, I'm actually able to help you. Um, when I am weak, I'm really struggling at the moment. And um, as I said, um, our oldest, I don't know if I said it, he's actually going away to France for six months, leaving tomorrow. And I'm finding that hard, but I'm not telling him because um, I'm going to miss him. I know we only get the boys part time, but um, they do mean a lot to me. Um, but I do get to go pick him up and actually go to Europe for the first time ever. I'm trying to think of other ideas to talk about. If you want me to just 
talk about my day or rant or actually film a video or when I'm having a panic attack or when I'm having an anxiety attack and just vent out my feelings. So you all had a good Christmas and a good New Year and we'll see you next week. Sometimes we must live through the darkness in order to see the light. We must visualize.